What is up my fellow gamers? In today's video, we are going over a sneak peek for the exclusive new recruitment that is bringing Uda to Tokyo Ghoul Break the Chains. Like and so for more amazing gaming content. So this new event banner is coming November 14th. We're also gonna have this new uh, boss battle event bottom right corner as well. I got some screenshots of this character. We're gonna go over their skills and stuff and whether you should go ahead and summon for them Arguably, this is said to be the strongest character in the game, by far better than anyone else. So I definitely think it is a good time to start saving up. You got a couple days before this character drops, definitely worth saving up for this. Is if we go into our event, because we have this coming up for our login rewards, our novice login rewards on day 15, we're gonna get this uh, star up crystal you can use this on any character. So I'm wondering which character should we use this on? You could use it on any, it's basically a, a duplicate for anyone to star them up. I'm thinking that you should use this on the awakened version of Ken because you cannot get him in the summoning banners at all. Like he's not even in the other summoning banner. So he's not, like he was in the exclusive summoning banner at the beginning. And then he was just completely removed. You cannot get him in any of them. Um, I was thinking they were gonna put him in the regular recruit after his exclusive was over, but you can't even get him in the regular recruit. So I think that is the character you should use your uh, star up thing on. Um, comment down below what you think, but I think that is going to be the best bet. All right, so there's the screenshot we got. I'm gonna also be talking about some of the skills and effects and stuff, but we can see the character from the screenshot. This character is gonna be the attribute for speed. So you're gonna see the little blue icon in the top right corner when you see the portrait area we'll go to the next one so we can take a look at some of the skills uh, we'll go over the active skills we got a one star effect randomly level up one of your character's skills and increase six percent of all your character's basic stats value in one round for two star effects we've got level up all your character skills and increase six percent their basic stats for one round and then the three star effect level up all your character skills and increase it by nine percent of their basic stats for two rounds so you really want to be trying to do the two star and three star effects so that way you're just boosting up your entire squad's stats just making them so much stronger you also have this lone wolf passive ability when you are the only character left on your side, your skill will be replaced by deals damage to the target equal to a percentage of attack for the skill level. So basically, if Uda is the only person left on your team and no one else, obviously you can't buff anyone else, so you'll be able to go ahead and deal damage, which is really cool. If we go ahead and take a look, you can see the uh, three star effect right there. Uh, for our passive skills, we have Fight and Isolation. We just went over that, it's called Fight and Isolation. Uh, for the other passive, we have Attack enhancement, when your round begins, if you don't get injured in the last round, all your character's attack stats will be increased by 4%, a four times limit. Um, then we have the next one is a limit level six skill upgrade. Randomly upgrade one of your character's skills when the battle begins. And then finally, the last one, uh, power burst enhancement. After power burst, you're gonna randomly upgrade one of your skills. Additional things, star up enhancement, Uda will get a certain percentage enhancement of advancement during a star up. Um, after you go ahead and you reach a star rating of three or four, he will get additional skills of star rating. So we can see a three star rating. You're gonna get the weak effect. And then when weakened, decrease 12% of his received damage in one round. And then the four star rating skill is active skill elevation. And the active elevation means it's going to increase 5% additional energy when used go ahead and take a look at the um, limit right here you can see a screenshot of the limits then if we go to the next one we can see their bonds the do uh, the three different characters they have for their bonds and we can see that we have increased attack increased defense and increased hp and then we have the ultimate bond when all coordinated levels are full the ultimate coordination is available which means getting a special effect Damage received decreases by 20, and if you don't have enough coordinated nameplates, just enhance the defense and HP first. Uh, for lineup builds, pretty much, you can almost pair this character with anyone because they buff everyone in your team. 
Some recommended builds would be uh, Juzo, who we just had, the Awakened version of Ken, pretty much any big damage dealer you have, pairing them up with Uda is just gonna boost all their stats, make them do more damage, higher defense, you know, just all in general. A really, really amazing buffing character. But that is it. I hope you guys and girls enjoyed the video. Start saving because in a couple days, we're gonna have this amazing character and you do not wanna miss out on this character. You definitely wanna get them as soon as you can to help buff your team and just progress further. Stay happy, stay safe. I'll see you later. Peace.